Why? Why do you? Why do you spray? He's addicted nice. to that Listerine stuff. My Listerine. Kenny, you'll do it like before bed, and you're I, not like, you're not talking to anybody for the rest of the night. Why do you, you think a good oral hygiene you know? is a bad thing? Uh, no, it's it's not a bad thing. Like I get if you do mouthwash because it actually cleans you, but that doesn't do anything but give you good breath. Okay, well, Brittany, <laughs> like <laughs> she sprays this as like candy. Like every time oh. that I'm with her, she's like, "Oh, can I have some?" And I think she's gonna do what I do, which is just like a it's little an spritz, spritz. Oral fixation. She goes. And then she'll hand it back to me. It's like, let me, let me hit that. She goes. You wanna try? Yeah. I will say the night that we puked all over the place. Oh, this helped. You gave me a spray and I woke up in the morning this and I catch. was like, that was hot, right? It's <laughs> probably running low, but you can pass it around for all, the rest of the class to try too. You literally took the last No, no, no. Spray. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Actually, keep no, doing I'm it. You gotta good. want My it. You gotta want it. Ready. Yep. Woo! I feel like I'm standing on the mountaintop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I, you know what? I'll put some of my... And that's a sign from Jesus, baby. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't ruin your coffee like that. Wow. Why is it not coming out? That's nice. I, I genuinely probably took the last spray. You did. I'm, I'm, a oh, yeah, I'm completely empty. literally a junkie that's just like, I just need I just need one more. And we want to get high <laughs> one, <laughs> one more time. time. <laughs> <laughs> was that from Hoarders? The poop eating lady? I, I, need, I need to watch that episode. I need to watch that show in general. That Without show context, that's going to be crazy. Oh, God, please don't throw anything at me. <gasps> the entire camera set just like Very falls over. Good. I caught All right. it. All right, guys. It's coffee. T oh, let's roll to no, the No, no, no. You, uh-uh. Don't. No. It's, it's coffee, coffee talk, talk baby. baby. Oh, wow. Old school. There you go. Nice. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm, I'm Zane. <laughs> I'm Kenny. I'm your other host, Heath. You don't want to be Kenny right now. Oh. <laughs> um, what's going on, guys? Thank you for listening, as always. And let's just jump right into it. We've been having a... Did we not already jump right into it? Well, now, now the episode... Don't... No. We are starting the episode I'm, ca I, I'm calling you out. Scandalous. Are we going to do that right okay, now? Okay, okay. Okay, look, look, look. Oh, you were saying, look, look, look. Had <laughs> no, to I, have say. Nothing, I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> we just started the podcast. I have nothing to say today. <laughs> That's it, guys. I think we're good. I think we're Thanks good. Thanks for today. listening, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Imagine a two minute podcast. Wouldn't, Wouldn't that be, be great? <laughs> all right, let's start all over again. Let's start all over again. <laughs> okay. okay. We just said, banana. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep that in, okay? <laughs> rough start, rough start. It's okay. It has been a long week, baby. We are a little bit rusty. Yeah. As always, but that's okay. Let's get started. Uh, how's everybody's week been? How's everybody feeling? Everybody Weekly feeling good? Weekly recap. I don't know. I've had a lot of energy lately, so I, feel, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I think it's the no alcohol, no bad food. I'm just yeah. kind of like. I think it's eating better for you. Yeah. yeah. And I know where you're coming from, too, because like I've lost like I've lost a, quite We're a both few pounds. So I feel pound really game, good baby. about myself, too. Yeah. It, yeah. Like, I just feel better about like everything around me in the world. Are we glowing? Is this a glow up? I think so. I think we're having so. one. Who'd have thought eating better would make you feel better? Yeah, who'd have thunk, huh? <laughs> so weird. It doesn't make any sense. How's your bet going? Because I know you're on this bet right now. You're still on it. I still... thought you said bed. bed. And I oh, was like, oh, my bad. Bet. Bet. B E T. Oh, it's going yeah. pretty well. Um, I haven't cheated at all. Thank That's God. That's good. We don't like cheaters. That's in good this, for in me. This I said thank you. <laughs> Very good. Um, I just don't even think about it anymore. Like, cheese and dairy was so easy mm -hmm. to give up. It's yeah. not like. Yeah, that's really easy. To say. Mariah goes, I've literally never never said that in my life. <laughs> um, no, you're doing good. You're doing really good. Thank you, Bobo. You are. Um, but the alcohol, sometimes I'll have like a little craving. I'll like, I'll wish I could just, oh, I want to kick back and have a beer yeah. or something. Everybody in the comments was saying, uh, Zane definitely broke his... Um, Broke his no yeah, alcohol. Yeah, it didn't even last a day. It didn't. It didn't even last. The, I was drinking that pot again. I'm pretty sure I had another drink after the podcast. Uh -huh. So I, it broke. I broke immediately. But and that's on commitment issues. And I, that's on staying on brand. But I only. I've only been drinking before this podcast. I haven't been drinking like any other day. I feel like. I yeah. Think. Um. Other than that, the diet's been going pretty well. I uh, just got back from Mammoth. Ooh, how was that? What's Mammoth for people that have no idea what you're talking about? <laughs> Mammoth is a town in northernish California. Uh, it's a bunch of mountains, 10,000 foot elevation, somewhere around there, give or take. Very your vibe. Uh-huh. You know? I camped, which was... Not surprising. Which was a first in a very long time. <laughs> like real camping. I camped? <gasps> oh! <laughs> you did. Fucking groundbreaking. Concept. I'm so used to camping in my living room. It must have been intense. Glamping. 
Good job. Pete's big ass tent though, it is glamping. I yeah. feel like you have a nice it's big it's fucking like a, tent. It's what, like a, a twelve person apartment, <laughs> two bedroom living room. Yeah. I found out there's a doormat that flips out. <gasps> really? <laughs> like a welcome mat. How did we miss that? I think it was just like folded under, but like it unraveled, and I was like, "It has LED lights. It wow. has a place for like your iPad or laptop well, to you're watch into movies." LED lights these days. I really am. I think it's TikTok. <laughs> You've seen the mansion tents that they sell, right? Yes. yes. On like those sites, it's insane. Yeah. We saw it. It was like fifteen hundred bucks. One. Yeah. Like Jeez. chandeliers and shit, right? Or is that another site I, I was looking I, at? I think you're, that's a stretch. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I saw like just a very. Glampy, huge mansion tents that were yeah. not. Yeah. So basically, I roughed it out there in the wilderness. <laughs> Do you have um, any calluses? Uh, <laughs> I think they came off in the hot tub. <laughs> Literally, the second I got out of the truck, we pulled up at the campsite. I walked out. There was a fire pit, like logs and stuff. And I was like, this is it. Like, I was pumped i'm king of the world <laughs> i literally did that i walked over there was this log i stepped up on it and i was just like king of the mountain felt so good the second i stepped up onto the log it flipped like it just slipped out from under my feet i fell scraped up bloody all over my leg and i fell to the ground and i was just like this is not for wait, me wait <laughs> is that what you were asking was infected earlier yeah that big gash in my leg yeah which it is infected. Which is clearly <laughs> infected. <laughs> it's absolutely infected. It looks angry. But yeah, it was great. Camped, went fishing, um, skeet shooting. Damn. When you're out camping like that, especially high elevations, I feel like ev I feel like everything tastes better too. The air is different. Oh, we literally cooked like chicken and asparagus on my little burner thing. Yeah. It could just like, and then breakfast in the morning. Oh, you can't beat it. Like everything you it make just, up there. It feels so like almost like primal. Like you're yeah. I'm, like, I'm fending for myself like after i stopped at ralph's on the way to grab groceries to <laughs> yeah. bring out there but like i feel like i did more yeah it's because nothing else is out there and i think right. that's why you have no, there's no option so what you have is what you get and it just tastes 10 times better but i will admit i was terrified going to bed why is oh, that really yeah well you were like in the middle of nowhere so people were like shooting guns and like we just heard like guns in the middle of the night. I don't know why. Why do but I feel like was... that would make you like more secure? He'd be like, oh, there's like good people with guns around me. I can take these. <laughs> good Who, people with guns Who's around popping me? off rounds at midnight? That's true. I feel like drunk people. I, I, like that's uh, how, what I think about. If they're in the middle of nowhere and right. you can like get away with that, I can see drunk people. Ah, bah, bah, bah. That's right. true. I didn't like the middle of the night because usually if they're shooting out there, it's skeet shooting. Right. Like yeah. they're shooting at like because there's skeet like, shooting is like when you shoot. There's at like discs. ranges that were like set up for. To like go do that there, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Wow, Mariah and I had a much more tame time back here. Was on the it home though? Front. Was it more tame? I mean, it was. We cannot lit. be tame. It was honestly. I saw the like, Instagram stories. It looked lit. <laughs> it was. It was kind of lit. Do you want to tell the audience <sighs> what we did? Should I? I don't want to brag. I know. You know. <laughs> we had a night in, and we watched Raise, Raise Your, your Voice with Hillary Duff. Duff. So good. Oh, wow, you guys are connecting over there, huh? That's I don't know why, classic. but we kept referencing this movie. Somehow it kept coming up, like both of us. We were. Well, I, don't, I don't even know what the movie is. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> they both they were just like. <laughs> you uncultured. It's a movie about this girl. Her brother passes away, and she ends up going to this music school, and she has like PTSD from how he died and all this stuff, and and uh, she. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Big fans over here in yeah, right. the no, of our no generation. Uh, Mariah, terrible. we're not selling this properly. That sounds really bad. Um, it's, a, it's a movie with Hilary Duff. Does that sell it? I think that sells it enough. Yeah. <laughs> Neither we one of them know yeah, what this is about. We could have knocked that whole five minutes of them explaining it to five It's five a minutes. movie about Hilary Duff and she's a singer. <laughs> Great. Okay. Life and imitates art. Okay. It's just a movie that is very near and dear to it's our hearts. It's just a classic. Yeah. It's a classic if you've seen it and you're... <laughs> this is why we don't talk. <laughs> They're like, you guys tell your stories. And we're like, trust us, we're good. And then we tell a we'll story. Pass. <laughs> okay, so it's all right. I'm again, over again. this. All right. <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm I cannot explain this. this movie. It's the fact that it's just an iconic movie in our childhood and that we, yeah, we we've kept it. referencing it right. multiple times. Okay. So the movie doesn't even matter. The movie doesn't matter. It it's was a great movie. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Sooner than it seems, life turns around. 
and I will be strong, even if it all goes wrong. And scene. Anyway. What is Hilary Duff up to these days? I haven't seen her she's in years. She's the only child star. I'm sure there's more, but there's, she's the only child star that like didn't fall off the deep end. She literally, yeah. she just has kids and she's a mom and she's she... living a normal life. Never had a scandal. Like, yeah. Just wholesome. Just yeah, I wholesome. like that. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, good. Respect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. I love holes. Anyway. <laughs> enough. All right, enough about Hilary Duff. Let's move no. on. There will never be enough times <laughs> to talk about Hilary Duff. Do you remember when she ended homophobia? Her commercial. <laughs> There was a commercial on like It was a commercial that was airing. I don't I feel like it was on MTV or somewhere edgy. She's like shopping in I like think a, I know what you're talking about. She's <laughs> shopping in a store and like what was it? It's it was a moment in history. It's <laughs> Well, are you saying that sarcastically? Or are you saying no, it is. Like, it's it, so, is, it is. It was just, it's a very iconic commercial where it Hillary Duff. It was very Duff, bold, a bold commercial to right. do okay. yeah. for its time. Right, well, explain it. Give us a. Okay, so Hillary Duff, you don't see her. Okay, so the, there's two <laughs> girls and they're shopping. Are we, hold on, before you, I'm sorry to cut you off, but are we, can we watch it? Is this something we're allowed to watch? Play it. Or you, you want to watch it? Yeah. yeah, let's watch it. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to flip it around because we've seen it. I've seen it a million times. <gasps> okay, yeah, turn it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I'm going to watch it too. Wait, what are you doing? She wants to see the video. And for Kenny's presentation today, he is going to be sharing with the class. Do you like this top? It's so gay. Really? Yeah, it's totally gay. You know, you really shouldn't say that. Say what? Well, say that something's gay when you mean it's bad. It's insulting. <laughs> what if every time something was bad, everybody said, oh, that's so girl wearing a skirt as a top. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute jeans, though. When you say that's so and gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. <laughs> Knock, it, Knock off. it off. Ends with a compliment, right? That was the old form of hate. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, hold on. The fact that she put her wearing a skirt as a top as equal to calling something gay. <laughs> like, I'm. Um, well, how would you feel if somebody said that's so girl wearing a skirt as a top? It is like, bad. That's not even. I understand what she was trying to do. She was trying to single her out for right. like, and make her feel like right. she's bad for just like what she's wearing right. or who she yeah. is. But it was that's a very really bad comparison. But but that... like, it was like going in the right direction. Yeah. Like, right. Because that... at that time, that was a popular uh, slang word. Right. Like. That's so gay. It right. didn't like it wasn't. Oh, we completely under. Yeah, yeah, we completely understand. No, that I'm for talking sure. to the people. Oh, <laughs> the people. <laughs> the people that are like, well, obviously, well, yeah, but back right. then, like, it was okay to say. Now, obviously, yeah, that's true. Isn't it odd that like that completely died out? I completely thought that I was gonna live the rest of my life with gay being an insult. <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> I feel like I haven't even word the heard, word the heard. I I haven't even heard the word gay in a long time. Just even in like a sentence too. Yeah, true. Because I hear I hear more the the term lgbt than the word like gay. more and come more inclusive. Yeah. Right. more inclusive yeah mm -hmm. right we are evolving oh my god as a society but that you know again that's an old video so like we can't give her a hard time with the skirt with the top but that's so <laughs> it does funny. it does sound like we something start, that was we a problem back that. then whenever somebody wow that's really <laughs> girl with the skirt as a top like, like <laughs> start saying it and see if people know i would almost rather you use gay again <laughs> i'm like please don't say that they, you, they should bring that commercial back though just as like a just a little bring reminder it back. Yeah. yeah that's nice no i love that commercial it was it was a moment in history and ended homophobia <laughs> <laughs> Single-handedly ended homophobia. Hillary she did. did. I love when people comment that shit over videos. I saw this TikTok today that really fascinated me. Were you on my account? <clears throat> <laughs> okay, we get it. Your for you page is popping. No. For you. Oh. No, he's talking about his personal. I'm on my page. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. That shows how much I don't <laughs> think your content is good. <laughs> uh, no, so it uh, it was this. Girl, I don't remember exactly how it was set up, but it was a way that you can use the word and five times in a row and have it be like grammatically correct, if that makes sense. It doesn't. <laughs> like in a like in a row or like five times in a sentence. Somewhere. No, like well, it's gonna be in a sentence, but in a row. Like and 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 no and way. no word in between any of those. No, ends. that doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm thinking think. of any situation that wouldn't even it like blew my mind. I like the color blue and 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 and, 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 and pink. And. No way. We went to the park and the mall and no no the no, no. There's nothing consecutively and 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 no. So I don't what? remember exactly what the setup was, but it was something like. Uh, there was a store or a restaurant, something called this and that. So the way she said it was, uh, 
God, I, I hope I'm getting this correct, but it was along these lines. So it was like, there's a sign that says this and that. So in the sign, this and that, the, the space between this and, 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 and that is not the same. What? So that says and five times in a row. Yeah, it does. But it this makes sense. That. Referring to the space, so you're saying this say and, and 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 that. that. That's three. Right. No, that's three. Yes. No. No. Th- so there's okay. So there. Imagine there's three words, right? This and that. The space between this is not the same as the space between this. Yeah, correct. Right. So imagine like the word this and that. So the space between this and and <laughs> and and. <laughs> Wait, and why would that. you why would you count oh. the and again? Oh, that's so stupid. Because so, you're like, saying think about it this way, Bubba. Point to my fingers, help me out. So if it was this Bubba, use your brain. Bubba. <laughs> let's replace and with blue. So the space between this and blue and blue and that are not okay. the same. The thing is, is that and isn't always used as a connector. There are some points in this sentence where and is used as the subject. So it's also, it's a connector and it's a subject. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I did it! I'm an English teacher! Wow! <laughs> Very Wait, cool. hold on. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, I, because separating the two. Yeah. It's like this and, and, now you do this one, and, and, and that. Yes. Yes. Wow. Got it. That's right. So, got it. Yeah. This and, 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 and. And and that. Hey, look, unfiltered family. I hope you stick with us after this conversation. <laughs> we 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 know that. <laughs> is this our high episode? Because I feel like I'm. <laughs> this is very polarizing to a lot of people. Using and five times in a row. She's still thinking about it. She's writing it out in her head. That's very and, and that. that. So it's right, and it's five times. I in want. A row. Wow. I want to. Um. I want to continue <laughs> your 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 topic about like how it like how weird it is when you take words and like it makes sense. I don't even know if that made sense. <laughs> Okay. Exactly like what is this. That, what's that called? What, you, Let's what, all take a breath. <laughs> this one was actually very interesting to me, and it'll take me about 10 seconds to find this. One second. It's a word that's weird. Race car spelled backwards is race car. That's a palindrome. So is taco cat. That's a palindrome. Mom. Wow. Just to name a few yeah, simple words. Yeah, but race car is more fun. That's, it's longer. <laughs> There's something I've been trying to figure out. I went to a, um, a pita pit the other day. Do you know what that is? Uh-huh. The restaurant pita pit? Yeah. No. Their tip jar sp- said something like, Pita Pit spelled backwards or something like that. Like, that's what it wrote on the tip. Tip a something. Oh, oh, nice. Tip a tip? Is that what it is? Pita Pit. Yeah, it's tip a tip. I've been trying to write it backwards in my head and, like, thinking about it. Tip a tip. The big brown fox jumped over the lazy dog uses every letter in the alphabet. Oh my God! Look at all. Know. Look at all of these that are apparently palindromes and sen- like sentences. What? Oh, some of, some of these don't make sense. sense. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like this one. Eve, mad at Eve. <laughs> it's not a... There was one that I used to say all the time. Never odd nor even. No, not that one. Madam in Eden, I'm Adam. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very sassy statement. There, there are some really good ones, though. Zane, are you still trying to find a word? It's No, no, no. It's th- This is it, it's a TikTok. But c- can I talk about the Japanese math while we're looking? Um, <laughs> Bubba. Remember yes. the Japanese math that we, we learned the other day? Yeah, I do it every morning. Wait, <laughs> Just really? to make sure. Yeah, I did it this morning. As soon as I walked in the kitchen, I was like, give me a piece of paper. Make sure I still got it. We just got to make things creative. And then it, and then it's fun. That's um, true. So I don't know if you guys have seen this who are listening, but there's a new way to do math that I guess is a Japanese way of doing it. On TikTok, it said the Japanese way. And then when I put it on my Instagram story, people were saying this is how kids learn it in like some American schools now. Really? So I think like it's just like once they discover it, they're like, okay, let's learn this way. If you take two numbers and you would, oh God, it's so hard to explain, but you do like a diagonal line for each number so if it was like 42 you do four lines then two lines then you would do what it's times going across the other way and then you put it into sections and then you, you count got that? how many you got times, that guys you count how many times that the lines intersect and then it makes the i don't know the whole time you guys are doing that i was thinking in my head you know when you do a math test and you answer if you, and you don't know the answer you just well, you have to show your work you have to show your work i just imagine someone showing their work like that and just the teacher going what the hell is this I- right uh, my mom keeps a box of our like old school work and half of my papers, it would be show your work and I would just make something up because I would know the answer, but wouldn't know how to show my work. Okay. How old so, are you? I'm guessing like maybe like second, third, fourth grade, but there's, uh, 
a bunch of my papers where I knew the answer. I would get the answer, but showing my work like wouldn't give me the point. So it was like all my papers at the bottom would say zero out of 20, see me. <laughs> every She was getting in trouble. Every paper was Mariah, see me. So I would have to go see the teacher after class. <laughs> but there was one more where there was a, uh, a spelling sheet and my teacher put 15 out of 15. I got 100%. I went in and realized I got one wrong, corrected myself and put 14 out of 15. And then the teacher was like, thanks for being honest, Mariah. <laughs> did, did she not give you the she, point? I got 14 out of 10. <laughs> she made I sure of it. Like, I would have let that slide if I you were been being like, honest. Honesty is the best policy. You, still, you get the extra point for <laughs> but that. But then I'm spelling money wrong for the rest of my life. M-O-N-I-E. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what were the other, because I know you had other ones which, which yeah. were fucking hilarious. Yeah, there was one question. This is like, Zane would relate to this because this is how my brain works. <laughs> so we're, we're this, both, we're both stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This says, explain why you might need to add zeros to the end of a decimal in order to subtract. Okay. So me, <laughs> so that you can't be confused. <laughs> like true. But Does honestly, where is sense? the lie? Where's the lie? Right. Well, I found the TikTok finally, what I was talking about. So there's, there's this one sentence where if you, it, it, it's a whole sentence. If you change, if you emphasize a different word of the, like in the right, sentence, right. It, it's a completely different meaning. Okay. So the the sentence is, I didn't say we should kill him. So if you I didn't take, say we should kill him like that. Yeah. If you emphasize each of those words, it's a completely different meaning. I didn't say we should kill him. Okay. I didn't say we should kill him. Okay. I didn't say we should kill him. Uh, I didn't say we should kill him. 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 It's a completely oh, different meaning. Oh, that's every time really he cool. emphasize Does each that word. work for every sentence? I don't think so. He no. this, this kid on TikTok was saying that there this is the only sentence you can like do that and it that's it's a completely so, different that's meaning. True. That's really cool. You couldn't be like turn the camera on, turn the camera on. Yeah. Turn the, the. Yeah, <laughs> turn no. the. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I try to make a TikTok that <laughs> I try to copy so funny. <laughs> Trying to debunk it, they're like <laughs> Zane. The one with the um the short sentence that if you change where the comma is located, it completely changes the meaning. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's right. Instead of let's eat grandma. Let's, Let's eat, eat grandma. grandma. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's That's eat funny. grandma. I just don't hope they don't delete TikTok. That'd be that'd be really. Because where are sad. we gonna get all this fun fact knowledge? Exactly. It's true. Do you think it's gonna be shut down? All right. So here's the here's the whole situation. Obviously, we have a fact checker here. So maybe Kenny could do a little fact checking when it comes to what I'm about to say right now. I don't know if it's 100 percent true, but I think um tick tick uh whoever wants to buy TikTok has a certain deadline. I think by right. September it was like 20th, 40th, 40th September days 15th. Or so. It's yeah, it was uh it's like 45 days. It was 45 days from when it was announced, and I yeah. know the final date is September 15th. Is when they need to it needs to be bought. Basically. Exactly. So it, Microsoft is trying to buy it. Yeah, Microsoft is trying to buy the I think the U.S. portion of TikTok. Right? Is that like the whole? They have to buy like the U.S. like part of tiktok i don't know it how just that needs works to be owned by a u.s company right not the right. whole app just a section of the app right because that no that wouldn't or, make sense or that right? doesn't make sense okay i mean i don't know they don't want the, i don't they, know they, I, yeah what, what do they change it for every other country yeah i mean the thing is is people have already found ways around be like their their whatever it is vpn or whatever address people are already finding ways around it to convince people that they're not in the US so they can yeah. still experience TikTok. Uh, like it's insane sense. watching the people go to these lengths to just view content. Jeez. And it could definitely happen because they banned it in India and yeah. um, I know I was told that a lot of creators, a lot of people making money on TikTok, they lost their jobs because the entire app was just banned from that country and that's it. And they still don't have it today. And it's like that's I think that's so, so fucking sad to just take away that many like careers from yeah. like people out there especially out there like you know it's probably really hard to, it's hard to get jobs anywhere right now but like i just feel like india like could re like that was just such a good source of like just jobs in general when it comes to like content creating but it could definitely happen here and it's President funny Temple, that you say that though 
the, whenever TikTok made an actual statement about it, the yeah. first time that this was coming out, the I, I I it was one of the head honchos at TikTok said she leaned into that fact that TikTok creates so many jobs. Yeah. In it, like around the world, she's like, we will continue to promote like you know creation and individuality, and like we promote the you know the creating of jobs, like all that stuff. She hit on all those points when she was addressing yeah. it. But she never in the video she didn't say <laughs> if it was gonna actually be banned or not. It was just kind of like, it was kind of just like a positive video, like hey. Right. She didn't make it clear, but she was just like, hey, we got to stay positive. We're, yeah. yeah. What's so crazy to think about, though, is like, remember there was Vine, there was Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, like the main apps. Yeah. I just remember like having talks about like, gosh, like, do you think there's ever going to be another app that'll come out? And they're like, no, I mean, everything is already done. We like, there's all nothing had else. This, we yeah. all had this conversation back like four right. years ago. We all had this conversation. Like, like oh, there's, there's nothing, nothing else. that could possibly be yeah. done that could be different. Like you got Twitter to write. You got Instagram for pictures. You got YouTube yeah. for videos. Like what else? The thing about TikTok, what I feel like what makes it a little stressful is that you can do anything on that app. Right. Could, like the whole green screen effect. There's so many different filters that you can use. I feel like. I feel like after TikTok came out, now I can see how other apps can come out. Because mm -hmm. you can right. just come come out with a better TikTok, better green screen, better. Because yeah. you know how the green screen is not the best. Like when you upload it, it's like really shitty yeah. quality still. They're going to come out with an app where it's crystal fucking clear when you use green screen. You can edit people into. Mm -hmm. It's all the algorithm. Like think about it. Like Vine had the, the popular now page, but everybody that had the app had the same popular now page exactly that, oh that's yeah. true TikTok is like i can go on you can go on all of us and none of the videos will be the same yeah we all we all have oh, a different yeah. experience to what we like and i think it does a really good job that's in showing us so what we crazy. like it definitely caters to it's, it's that's scary. what's interesting is that as marketing analytics become more easily accessible and as technology progresses, I feel like it's inevitable that another app is just going to surpass TikTok. Like even That's you, what I'm saying. I'm not worried. Like Heath it's always going to be something new. Yeah. And you said the other day, even to having this past experience with Vine, you're like, I just don't see how TikTok can be topped. But inevitably, as people's expectations grow, like as people learn more about their audience, as people learn ways yeah. to like, prolong technology, it's like... And it's that's by stealing and mining our goddamn data. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they do it. Marketing is like disgusting when you think about it yeah but oh, as it's at so the, weird at the same time we do appreciate it when it's something that we we want to buy and it pops up on a screen and we click and we're like oh we're it is how convenient. easy very convenient and that's what's scary about but it. like we're uh, letting we're letting it control what we, we the think training we us. have a yeah. buddy uh who works at like a, a marketing company they take your phone and they can see where you're driving every single day what age you are so they can see how old the drivers are, what gender they are, yeah, and know what to put in a billboard to market to that specific person you're looking for on an average. Like, yeah, it that's so insane. It's like, creepy. To, because at the end of the day, it, it and there's some ways of thinking about it where it's just like, oh, it's just like numbers, it's just like data, or whatever. But when it's so specific to you, you're like. I don't necessarily want somebody knowing that I'm a six foot one tall, 26 year old male. You know what I mean? It's, it's weird. It's all just numbers, but we take it. So like we get really scared about it. What was the ad when it, like, I think one of you brought it up. There was an ad you got and it asked, Oh, the one on your, on your Facebook that you were talking about. Yeah. There was an ad that you got and on the bottom of it, it was like a little survey and it asked oh. you like, Oh, um, how do you feel about this ad? And then it showed like too personal to this, too, too accurate, too accurate. Already seen this ad. Like it was all stuff that was like why would you ask me these questions if you already all things that you would be like make you feel uncomfortable yeah it was already bought it already saw the ad too personal too accurate really weird it's almost like they're they're fucking with us like yeah. oh you like these ads was it too accurate huh yeah. like it, it's like they're having fun with mm -hmm. it which is like, I, well i feel like it, at this point it's just another bit of data to them like they just they're, they're now like okay people are aware that we're like taking their information but like how aware are they like they're uh, they're literally getting analytics about how many people are aware that analytics are being taken of them it's weird it's a matter of giving up everything just for convenience. Yeah. And just because it makes something a little bit easier. Yeah. And in the end of the day, I, if an ad pops up of something I've been thinking to get and it pops up, I'm like, oh, it's, it's paying thinking, attention to what I want. Thinking about getting. That's another Ooh, thing. Not when, when we think about saying what you want. No, you know, I, I swear, people are like, you know, I was thinking and it popped. I'm like, I bet you, you had to have said it. <laughs> you had to you have never said know. It. You never know. Or maybe it's it's transmitting some signals out of the phone to your brain and that's what's making you think you want it. 
Okay, flat earther. Do, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, like, think about that. What if it's like playing some sort of sound wave that can like, or not sound? Oh waves? no, I, I mean, I completely get it. There's so much shit that we've like experienced where like it's like, like how the fuck where, does this like happen? in your head? It's like it sends you Diet Coke, and you're like, damn. Uh, I wanna, oh my, I think that's it, so random I want a Diet Coke And then like you open your phone And it already knows You're thinking about Diet Coke Or if you know Like you're on a diet Like me of Diet Coke will pop up. I'm like oh shit It knows I'm on a diet Right It's all it a matter of perspective want. At the mm-hmm. end of the day yeah. It depends on how you feel About people knowing shit about you Did anybody have a pager? Yeah No you had, had a pager? pager? Well, not me personally, but like my parents used pagers for so long. Really? She saw how yeah. you were judging her. She goes, well, not me personally, but I didn't think kids just had pagers. I thought that was no, more not for me adults. Perso- no, not me personally. She literally- my, oh. my, par- my parents. Oh. Okay. I never really understood what a pager was. When no, someone's so like, trying to contact you. No, it's like shorthand. Yeah. It's like it's a shorter way of saying something. Like if like if 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 you said nine one one, I remember that would translate to like it being an emergency, like it being very of high importance. But then there would be like some sort of number combination that would mean call me. Yeah, so like it was like a text form. message without a message. I'm looking up beeper codes right now. Okay, one four three is I, I love, love you. you. I remember that. Hold on. Yes. One two one is I need to talk to you. Oh, eleven three four two zero nine is go to hell. Oh, they make on, it, wait. See, they make it harder to say the hate ones. My dad still says it one four three. Like when he texts me, my dad will go one four three. It would have little numbers what? displayed on it. So yes, it would beep and it would buzz. So you would feel it because it was always on your head. No, no, no. I'm saying like, did you have a beeper number? Probably code. Yeah. It, what I, if I didn't want you to beep my beeper? <laughs> unfriended. People listening think we're like censoring our. <laughs> and the beep <laughs> could I beep your beep? <laughs> bleep. That's just heat's brain the whole the whole fucking time. Oh, the beep, shit. The bleep, bleep. I, I think my mom had the blue one. You see the blue one, the little see through one? My it mom just, was my mom was like trendy. My mom always wanted the yeah, new like trendy. I remember stuff. my sisters having a translucent purple one. Remember the Motorola phones where you could yes. call them and radio them? So if you didn't like want to just you like could, do a whole oh, phone call, you're like, like, like bleep, Yes, my brother had the yellow one. You remember the yellow and uh-huh. black one? It looked like like a bumblebee. That was like that's what like the construction workers used though. Yeah, I remember yes. like that oh, was like a work. Yes, phone. <laughs> my dad is in construction. He would use those shits all the time, and then he never he never adapted past that. He thought that was the peak of technology. <laughs> I swear I to think you, we all thought that was the peak of technology. Well, I know at that point, but then when technology kept going, we were all like, okay, we're down. And my dad was like, no, it's not getting better than this. Like he would have his like what is it's like a Nokia that they're like right. bulletproof. He had that for the longest time. He still has a Nokia to this day, I'm pretty sure. I'm telling you, those games on those new Nokia phones were the best fucking games. Snake. They need, Snake. To, br- they need to bring it back to like the, like our iPhones mm-hmm. because it was yeah. it was I don't know what it was about like maybe just the I think I don't know. I think you're feeling nostalgia right now. No, no, because I've like after that game, I always try to find like snake games. Like this was back then. I try to find snake games to match that game, and no snake game would match the snake game on the Nokia phone. I think part of it is the functionality because an iPhone you don't have those buttons to press. There is some sort of satisfaction when you press a button and it turns at the exact right moment. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to explain that, but like there is. There's a there's a satisfaction that comes with pressing a button. You know what? I do remember the Nokia phone buttons having a millisecond delay, which I think yes. felt nicer. You'd press yes. it and you'd do it like a millisecond after, but it yeah. felt good. It, it felt like one of the, the games in the arcade where you got to like get the block to like stop. Just <laughs> And, and it like the Blackberry phones had the best uh, the yes. wheel the wheel the little yeah. circle the, the little white what was ball? the game called do you remember what the it was name it was the, the one was? where the bar went across and you would bing bing and you would hit the block yeah. something breaker block it, breaker it looked like like it had like it bricks brick breaker brick breaker brick breaker, brick breaker. Brick breaker. Yeah. oh my god Good. I would always steal my stepmom's phone just to play that fucking brick game it was breaker. on the bottom and you had to slide it as it was coming yes. down yeah. did any of you get the trackpad like one the that was sexy the ball I never got it the ball. Stick to your, it'll stick to your thing. Wait, no, no, no. I'm talking about like the, the, the actual pad, on the, the BlackBerly. The where it was a ball. A, it wasn't. It was after the ball. Oh, it was like a ball. black. I wasn't like that luxurious. Square. I didn't go that far. That's the only. That's when I. That's when I adopted a BlackBerry. Was when they got oh rid of the ball, god. and I was like, Yo, we should bring it back. Touch pad is sexy. Oh my god. I wonder. I can you buy that. Blackberries just to have that game? Like, is that something we can get right now? I think so. Guys, I hope our '90s babies know what we're talking about right now because this game, this game was so fucking good. They have like Call of Duty now. We're like 
brick breaker <laughs> in the best game. That's no, why we made bricks in our background. Yeah, we do appreciate shit like that. Like the other night, you play the game all, every night. Actually, the game that's like Gungeon? pixelated. Yes, it's so it good. looks it's so like bad, pixelated. but it's like there's something about older looking games that is yeah. still yeah. so fun to play. It appeals to us. I'm wondering. I'm. I'm now. I'm wondering their analytics. I wonder how many people actually play it that are like older, and how many are that are younger. Because I feel like for younger people, they'd just be like, "Oh, this looks gross." Yeah, but yeah, they want of course, clarity. Yeah. Like, yeah. On the screen. It triggers something in us. Do you think you could right now go back to having like, uh, like an old phone, like a, a BlackBerry or some sort of like? To me, that's like having no phone. <laughs> well, <laughs> Razer just, just came out with a... an updated version. They're trying oh, to resurge right. themselves. Yeah. I remember how quick I was texting on. You know how it was just the numbers. There was no keyboard, and just texting on it like T nine. You would press. T9. One two, one two three. Right, one two yeah. three. But I used to be so quick. I don't think I I would be able to do it now. I don't no know way. how people use fucking T9. Like, I don't know how. No, like, you... T9 is that age's version of predictive text. Yes. When it knows what you're going to say. It knows by the combination of numbers that you're choosing what letters you're really trying to use. Damn, we didn't even right. know they were ahead of our time. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, if I feel like if Sidekick came out with something, there's a certain I demographic know. that would be really into that. Yeah. Matt. <laughs> Matt would buy it in a heartbeat. He, he really? bought a sidekick recently, right? Oh yeah, he did the orange one. Yeah, he doesn't use it though, but he definitely has. He definitely has it. Was it. Such a cool phone. Do you do you think you can make a transition like away from Apple and doing like an Android? No, Man, no, it's not. I don't get Replace how there's it. such an equal balance of like, it's either absolutely not. I will never go Apple, or like I can never do Android. Like our friend Gabe. Yeah, there's hardcore Androids, out, uh, Androiders out and there. And Jordan will never get off of Android. Isn't and that crazy? I'm like that blows how? my mind. I, I don't understand. It's, it's so also bad. because that, it's also because that's all they know. If they had an iPhone for a year, I don't think they'd go back to Android. But I think that's also because this is all we know. It's the same right. thing. Both people are just they're yeah. too deep into it to commit to like. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll try to switch right. now. I had an Android phone for the like the first three four years. I had the touch screen. I had the really oh. nice. Oh no! Remember the new touch screen? I uh like it looked like an iPhone, but it was an Android. Those that was the first like I never the had Galaxies? an iPhone. The galaxies, yeah. Oh, I, oh, yeah, I remember galaxies? you had that when it made. Yeah, I had it. I had it for like three years, and like as, when I got the iPhone, I was able to adapt in a fucking day. I was like, oh fuck the Android. So much That's why in my head, I'm like, oh, I don't know how people stick. Yeah, it's easier. Because I've like, tried to unlock an Android, and I'm like, feels and they're wrong. like, oh, you have to like just drag it. Like, it's so easy. You just gotta go like. <laughs> I'm like, what? I think Androids like equal to like windows Del like windows yeah. and then iphones yeah. Were yeah. apple computers no, yeah. so i think that's like, true it, yeah. it, like apple products for whatever reason just aren't attacked as much as windows products things that have windows the notifications you'd get on your android android phone is the notification you'd get if you're on your windows computer it's like these notifications like it's shit that doesn't like you you're you don't need to be notified by if you had your phone it was really? like yeah, it just you know when you'd get like antivirus needs to be updated, like shit like that you'd get on your phone. That's what you'd get on your, or on your computer. You'd get that on your phone. Really? Oh, I yeah. Would not want that. that I'd get like notifications that made no sense on my Android phone. Phone. You know what I'm so actually crazy. wondering though is is you know how have you ever gotten a Snapchat being an iPhone user? Have you ever gotten a Snapchat or some sort of video that comes from an Android? It's awful. And you can immediately tell it's from an Android. It's so pixelated. Anybody's like Instagram stories too. Like you yeah. know who has the emojis. The emojis look different. I'm judging the emojis. Like, <laughs> they were like I'm 2D judging the instead font. of 3D. <laughs> yeah. It was just like a flat. For weird. whatever reason, the font on those phones, the default is like Comic Sans. It, it, it looks felt gross. Like if you had like a Heinz ketchup and then a knockoff brand next to it, like, or like a girl wearing a skirt as a shirt. Ooh, right. Like yeah. Exactly. exactly. That's Mariah just ended homophobia. Good job. <laughs> My community, Take thanks the you. Stigma off Androids. <laughs> Buy an Android oh my today. God. I bought a Nokia Lumia. What? Nokia Lumia 1020. <laughs> it was something like that. <laughs> and I remember I was like, it had the most megapixels. It had the this, and I was just like, I made the switch. I did it. I it remember was just you like, getting that phone. It was the white Nokia. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it just sucked. Like, yes, it, I'm sure it had more megapixels, but so, it just didn't look right. You're talking about the screen? It looked like a, Windows, it was a, bunch a of Windows, Windows desktop. It looked like yes. a desktop. <laughs> it was, you remember like when desktop. that was a thing? Oh, we all no. wanted our phones to look like our computers. <laughs> what was that? We were like, it's not good unless it looks like my desktop home screen. Because it looked like you had a mini laptop with you all the yeah, time. It was like, cool. it, you felt good. You, felt you were good just tricking yourself. these little, did you little guys, sheep. Did you guys ever have a video now? 
What? Video now? Yeah. No, what My is that? My sister had one. Look it up. Show them Video a picture. Now. It was this little gray device. It was about this big. And it would be a tiny, like, literally three by three screen. And you can play a DVD and you would just watch these black and white. Like, my sister what had, like, is this? Oh, that. She Wait. had that. Oh, my God. And you would play movies on it. I didn't have that one, but I had a better version of that. Okay. <laughs> Where you put, you put, is, is that a CD player? Yes. Okay, it's CD a CD. Players. You flip the screen up and the screen is when you flip it up. Oh, I know yeah. which one no, you're talking about. No, that's just a portable DVD, DVD player. player. You had a portable Yeah, I know, but it, like, it, it reminded me of that. Right. This was like a knockoff. Yeah, of that. that was like the cheaper version. Right, this is what we got. I had the, I had the more expensive version. <laughs> right. Look at the little tiny teeny so picture of Squidward. Oh my God. God. Yeah. yeah. We thought this was the peak that, of technology. Was it. it was not gonna get better than that. Oh my God. That's We're, nuts. Remember MP3 players? I had an iPod Nano. Mm -hmm. I had like a Samsung knockoff. Yeah. Do you think that back then when Apple was first starting, they had the iPhones and iPods, do you think they could have actually put the two together in the beginning, but they didn't because they just wanted to make more money in the beginning of selling iPods and iPod Nanos and iPhones and... I feel I like iPhones came after the iPod yeah. Nanos and all the iPods. Like once the iPod thing had reached its like peak, I feel like... Then they came out with the iPhone. I, I thought iPhone and the first iPhone and iPod came out at the same time. I thought so I too because so. I had the no. iPod that looked like the phone. Remember? No, the i the iPod that was later. That was iPod later. was their yeah. their music thing, and then it started doing really well. And then then they came out. With there phones? was like a huge announce that it was like they made a phone. Oh, this yeah. is not our world. What are we? We're getting into tech right now. So, we have no, yeah. no, no idea. It, it's right. So the iPhone had been out for about eighteen months when the first iPod Touch was released. That's what you're talking the about. Touch. The iPod the Touch. Touch. Oh, exactly Touch. like it looked the first like an iPhone. iPhone. Yeah. Yes. So like you having that would be like, oh thank God, it looks like I have an iPhone. But like you can only we, you can only text. That. If you had Wi-Fi, yeah, and you, you can you can, only, you can fit like 150 songs on that shit. <laughs> oh <laughs> I yeah, could fit more than that. Yeah, the it first was, generation iPod came out in 2007. Yep, I I think wow. they sold like two That's gigabyte crazy. like iPod touches. Like it was so low where you can it fit. Was, could you imagine people people that had their business phone would get like higher gigs? Remember they would have a it, like iPhones were only for business people. Do you remember? That's what BlackBerry started as too. Right, it was BlackBerry like a PDA. was business. Remember yes. PDAs? Whoa! Wait. Oh my god! What does PDA stand for? What about BBM? Public like display of <laughs> oh my god! BlackBerry <laughs> Messenger. Yes, BBM. Yes. What, send me your BBM. Oh, <laughs> I remember oh, being remember? so jealous I didn't have a BBM. <laughs> Me too. I, I sat wanted... there with my flip phone like I could just text you. And then they would like beep each other like to like, it wasn't like. An, uh, What's your the, BBM? And Ping, that's what it was called. Ping. They would They would ping each other. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I could ping somebody. At least you had text, baby. I had AIM. That was my source of texting. I had, I had a, a wait to get home it. to do that shit. I didn't have do text. Remember, I didn't have AIM. remember like you see on the side that like your crush is on? Oh. But then. The, with, you, the, with the rings around right. it. Oh. But then you look over and you hear a, the door slamming sound and they would log off and you're like, shit, I didn't talk to them. Do you oh, remember that? Shit. What? <laughs> I have the, no oh idea. Oh my God. So there was a door slam and that means that they logged off of it. They left okay. the building. Yeah. Right. And it would show like, blah, 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 it's Damn. offline. And right. Gone. But initially, right. initially when they came up though, they would have a little green dot next to them, right? Like yes. newly yes. on, yes. like whatever. And, and then it like, would just <gasps> shut. They're on, they're on, they're on. Like, I just remember making planes through AIM all the time. I wouldn't call them. I was like, hey, you want to do the movies Thursday? And like we would plan it out on yes. AIM and we'd meet each other. Same look at the screen. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. Wow. Remember him? Do you remember the singular guy? Yes. <laughs> singular. That was my first phone. Was singular phone. Yep. Yeah. Yep. My username was New York Bambina 11. Oh, she oh. was a baddie. Mine was Lebanese dude 456. <laughs> Nationalities being well, was it really? <laughs> and then after that was Pizza Face A A A. What? Ooh. Because Same. people would call me Pizza Face because I had a, like a very triangle face Pizza. with like. Oh, I thought it was acne. With a bunch. No, it probably acne. was. Oh, I, I was gonna you, say. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of acne Sorry. back then, so they called oh me Pizza God. Face. I remember most of my friends when I was on AIM had their scene names. That's okay. what they oh, were. Right. Yeah. Because right. it would, I remember it would be like a mixture of like letters and numbers. So it was yeah. like perfect for a user. So this was middle school for you guys? Or? Uh, yeah, middle school. middle school. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, what do you all say for school. you guys? It had to be for you too. You I not? didn't have it. He, like he I wasn't, wasn't And you didn't have a phone either. So you just, how did you? I had to memorize my friend's phone numbers and call their parents. I still know my friend's phone numbers from like having to know it. And email. 
So my mom set up an email and me and my cousin would email each other back and forth, but we would like change the color and we would do every other letter was capital. We would take so much time to email. Uh, yeah, hi, is, is Austin there? <laughs> and I just remember being like, um, can we play video games? Yes. Can I come over? Did I ever tell you the story about um, me liking Emily Malka in middle school or in uh, in high school, freshman year, and my phone call I had with no. her? No. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> this is, this was like one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. And I don't think I ever <laughs> told you this. This is Emily Malka is a friend of ours and is actually a really good friend of Heath's. Yeah. Our first day of high school, I remember like I, w I was very new to everybody. Like a lot of people like... Like the only people I knew in school was like my two friends and that's right. it. Everybody else was like brand fucking you. I didn't know anybody. And I remember seeing Emily Malka and I was like in love. I was like, oh my God, like she's so pretty. I just want her to be my girlfriend right now. Well, I was, just, I was obsessed with her. And I remember getting her phone number and I, I like now looking back, she did not want to give me you her number. number. She did not, hey. she did not want to give me her number though. It was like, just, it was a weird way of re retrieving that number from her. And I remember like the next day, <laughs> give me it. It was like the first week of school. I remember calling her from my landline to her cell phone. And I remember it was like the most awkwardest fucking phone call. I was like, hi, you, Hey, you want to, you want, you want to hang out? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'll see. Well, it was nice. It was nice talking to you thank you for calling me oh, i was like no. okay for bye calling. for the whole rest of the year i just know that she like probably told everybody about that phone call because it was the weirdest fucking oh, thing oh. and i was this no. kid this weird kid on the side that like just pretty you're much you're never gonna believe who just called me yeah. from their parents landline yeah. no it's just really funny knowing that was emily malka and that was just like the, the one girl that i crush on like that's my so entire funny. freshman year i actually have a really funny memory with her too uh i remember we were I think it was freshman year, uh -huh. and we were at like the the lunch area outside. You where liked we her eat. too. That's why she. That's why she didn't want to well, give yeah, me her number. I, she picked Heath <laughs> over Zane. <laughs> no, she she had this like boyfriend who was like scene king. Like uh, he was. Do you oh, remember? Hold on. Wait, who? Who? Jeff. Oh shit! Super oh skinny my jeans. god, dude. To me, he was like scene king. Back I know. Then. I he know. Would, he would wear like hall like the, the giant holster jackets and he skinny was, jeans. He was a legend. He, that's why I wore giant Hollister jackets Me and skinny too. jeans. This is why I dress like that because I wanted to be Jeff. What was his name on MySpace? I don't know. That's probably why you wanted to be him because he was dating her. Oh my God. Makes sense. Jeffrey Riot. Jeff Jeffrey Riot! Oh my God! We he was one of the. I, I don't know if you remember our like podcast, like ten up podcast episodes ago. We talked about our scene days and how we'd go to Sawgrass Mall every week. And I remember he wore a him jacket, and I remember looking up him and trying to like their music. <laughs> I liked some of their music <laughs> because I knew he liked it. Dude, oh my, oh my God! Was it AFI the one that did Miss Murder? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I remember Fuck. getting a purple striped hoodie because he wore a purple striped hoodie. <laughs> I remember like having a crush on her too. And at lunch, she would talk about, she was like, yeah. And we made out for 30 minutes. And I, I remember like, this is the thing she was saying to you. Yeah. At, at and I was like, made out for 30. I had never kissed anybody at this time. <laughs> so I was like, you can kiss for 30 minutes. She's like, yeah, it's crazy. And Damn. I was like, that's so weird to think about. It's crazy. Cause like, Back then, I like I probably kissed a couple people in my life, but I would Whoa, hear stories. I, I would, I would hear. I probably kissed a couple, <laughs> but I would hear stories of people like having sex on the playground, like, but like knowing that I've only kissed a couple people, like I thought that was like people were so like far into their like just sexual life. It yeah. was crazy just hearing people like making out for thirty minutes and giving a yeah. BJ to somebody on the playground. I was like, holy fuck, you can like do that? I you said giving someone too. a PB&J on the playground? That was normal. <laughs> I said BJ, what the, how old am I? Yeah, BJ. Give him a blow, <laughs> I'm wondering your guys' take though on kids nowadays and how I don't want to know. I don't want to. I feel like I don't want to know. Everything's being done younger, just uh, completely across the board with drugs. Yeah. Oh alcohol. yeah. Well, I feel like kids are very impressionable <sighs> nowadays, and especially with they're how they're just exposed to too much. I feel like too mm -hmm. young, and it's yeah, so I widespread agree. now. It's like reaching a bigger audience because of TikTok and things that we talked about earlier. So I just feel like it's it's inevitable for kids to just become so impressionable off of. And I feel apps. like there's no way for parents to kind of watch what their kids are doing because. When they like because TikTok is pretty much an app that a lot of kids are on. So when parents uh -huh. hear, "Oh, you're on TikTok," oh, that's fine. Oh, that's they like dance on there. You know, it's a it's a good it's a good app. Like it's a it's a fr kid friendly app. But there's a lot of adult content on there. Yeah, and they, like and they get away with it. Like there was this TikTok that I saw the other day of like some kid. 
it was like a it was a pool shot. So they shot the like a shot the white ball, right? And they knock a ball in, and the kid's nuts are in the cup, and you see the nuts. And the TikTok was up for like what? days, and it had like a shit ton of views and likes. And I'm like, how is this not deleted yet? See? I personally don't think kids should have a freaking smartphone until they're way older. I mean, I'm not giving my kids phones. Like, obviously, until I know like fucking, technology, yeah. and like this is like the future. And yeah, like, like I understand it's 2020, but. They're still there's kids. shit that like kids yeah. should not, not be able to just have Google at their fingertips. <laughs> right. To, I just to, picture like, your kids being like, but daddy, I want to be a YouTuber like you. Like, you had a phone at my age and you're just going to be like, not now. To but me. no, but we didn't. We didn't have phones until I, I was a freshman I was in 17. high school. Yeah, I couldn't imagine it, being. There's no way. 10 years no. old. High school? Yeah. It, I had a phone in middle school. Oh, I, no. I, you didn't yeah, have a phone? My mom was like, use your friend. I was like, all my friends have it. She goes, yeah, use use one of theirs. Good. Use one of theirs. <laughs> yeah. Well, being 27, I'm glad I didn't have a phone until I was that Me old. Me too. Because like, I, if I was exposed to all that shit as a little kid, like just as like because you're when you're young, you're like a sponge. Everything you take in. Yeah, that's the it, thing. You become what you're like watching and what you're tuning into. And yeah. I know that if I had a phone when I was fucking like 12 years old, I would not be. Well, like, you heard it here first, folks. That's the reason I'm gay is because I started <laughs> looking up videos when I got my first phone. <laughs> you saw the 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 TikTok of the, the little kid and the mom was like, why are you Googling this? And was freaking out. And like the kid was like watching porn, like the little kid. <gasps> what? Oh. And he was like, it accidentally popped up. And she's like, no, it didn't. I'm looking at your search. Oh, and it was like, right. yeah. I mean, and that's and that's completely like everybody, uh, every kid. Right, how old, for sure. How old was the kid? I don't remember, uh, but I was gonna say. I think you, he was like seven I feel like or he was eight. Young. He was when like you guys seven. got your phones, did you have no experience? Like I didn't that? have internet. Like again, having a computer. Like all I did was do paint. And all I did, like, I didn't know there was, like, Googling oh, stuff. Oh, we had different childhoods Yeah, our then. parents, my, my parents, you both were just, sides, they, they saw what I did on the computer. Yeah, there was, uh, like, they, parental they, controls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But whenever, yeah. I don't know why, maybe it was because I was younger when I got my phone. I got my phone in middle school, my first phone. And I don't know for whatever reason, I thought this was my first step into being, like, an individual. And for whatever reason, I wasn't it's concerned all... <laughs> with, like, what my parents had access to. And... I should probably stop talking about this because my parents are going to watch this. It's fine. <laughs> Keep going, baby. This is unfiltered. I would start looking up shit like that at a, at a young age. And I remember I, I had interactions that are now filmed on TikTok. Yeah. I had an interaction like that. Like, with, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Like, oh, when you, it was, I it would was, not even know to look stuff up. Like, I just wouldn't know what to look up. So you got like, caught look looking up. at something? Huh? You got caught looking at something? <laughs> it was what was it? Mortif. <laughs> It Porn, was just obviously. mortifying. <laughs> well, like, what else was it? What else I just wanted because I can tell he's like uncomfortable, so I just no, wanted to hear honestly, like, the best moments of SpongeBob. <laughs> it wasn't even. It wasn't even like images or anything like that. It was. It was. It was when I started using AIM for evil. Woo! For what? I w it initially started off as like a chat room thing oh. where I would go into these chat rooms and I was just like, oh, like whatever, talking to new people. But then it just like quickly turned into something that I didn't bargain for. Gotcha. It. Yeah. At this point though, I was trying to discover who I was and it right. was something that I thought that I was doing behind a closed door. So I had this like feeling of privacy and whatever and trying to learn who I was at this age, trying to just like understand what was going on in my mind uh -huh. and so that's what i used it for because that was something that i was curious about gotcha. back then so it was like used as a means to kind of like confirm that we stand somebody who opens up no no i love i love getting deep into shit like this it's like this is stuff like we've never talked like i've never heard this story before so it's like right yeah yeah do you want to take very any interesting. of that out I mean, I don't care. I mean, all of it. No, it's fine. I, I mean, I thought it was very appropriate. My sister sent in the family group chat this this guy that made a TikTok joking. And he was like, when our parents wouldn't let us sleep over like our friend's house as like a 12 year old. And it was a kid like running into his room and then slamming the door and like doing middle fingers and like, <laughs> like, Whoa. I hate you. And, like jumping up and down. And my sister and I like we were all laughing. And my mom goes, did you really do this? <laughs> and nobody spoke. And she was like, did you really do this? <laughs> And, and we were just like, ha, 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 ha. And she was like, oh, my God. Like, she she got mad over that. Like, that's what we I got know, caught for. Got I'm 25 years old. She's like, really? You guys did this? You did this. <laughs> I, I like, love bringing up shit that I used to hide from my parents, like, now. Like, I'll, when, I'll go, when I go yeah. home, whenever I never remember shit, I'll try it. I'll, I'll bring it up. Because I think it's the funniest thing to bring up shit that you would hide from I'm your parents. I'm still scared. It's so, <laughs> like, you saying that, I remember the first time I ever did that. And I felt <laughs> awful. Yeah. yeah. Like, I remember <laughs> my mom turned away and I went like this. I was like... 
Yes. Like, and I don't know why doing that felt like that was the worst thing I could possibly do. Yeah. I can wasn't hundred percent picture you doing that too. Like, it's so easy to picture like, you doing that. Just like, like just like a. She turned around and was just like. Because and you I know just how remember she would and it was barely a finger too. It, it was right, like, right. like, like it was I didn't like, really want to do it. Like. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> no, because <laughs> you were not, so weird. Because you knew personally how your mom would probably react if she saw that. Because right. I had an instance too where I genuinely said to my mother, "You are the worst mother on earth." Oh. <gasps> Ooh. I still regret it to this motherfucking day. Oh yeah. <laughs> because I knew in that moment. I remember. That's one of my first memories. I feel like as a kid, I remembered just the look on her face. And it was like heart wrenching. Yeah. Because I didn't mean it. You were just trying to think of the worst thing you could possibly say to like. Right, exactly. I knew that that was the worst thing that I could possibly say to her because I probably wasn't getting my fucking way in the moment. And that's what's so stupid about people nowadays on the internet that say this type of shit because it's like you're just trying to say the most hurtful thing. Like, right. Do you really mean it? Just to get a reaction. Right. Yeah. Like, it's just like, what are you really doing it for? That's why it's so easy to like see past that shit now. Uh huh. I I used to do the like the whisper under my breath. Like, you stupid bitch. Yes, the whisper. Yeah. While you yeah. were responding, yes, when there was a back and forth. So you so you do the dishes, right? Yes, I'll do the dishes. Right, just a little like. Mm, yeah, yeah. My parents were so. I, I, the thing is, I would just, I would keep it all to myself and go to my room and just fucking cry because I, I knew that I could never talk back to them because they were the type where they would just give me another month. Yo, did, did you ever anything. slam the door? N- uh, never. Wait, wait. <laughs> you know, you were slamming it, and, you're like, and then you would open, and you're like, "Sorry, oh, my window's uh, open. Yes, it was the wind." Yes. Because if they knew you actually slammed it, like crucified, done. Yeah, done. Like, that's it. Done. But I remember like slamming it, and then I was like, "You like no, do no, it, like, no, no." You do like the slam it right before it slams. You like kind of like pull it. <laughs> you don't like yeah, let yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> what Aww. were what were things that you guys would do to make your parents feel? But if, if you got into a big fight and you were grounded or something, and you 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 know you don't want to your parents to stay mad at you. You do something to like make them clean. I would you know clean. be happy about you again. What would, would you cl- do? I would clean too. I would, I would clean. do chores. I would yeah. do the dishes and then I would just side eye them the whole time. Yeah. Oh, no. I feel like parents were always a step ahead of us because I would do that too. I feel like I remember cleaning my room and then having my mom come home and I would just be like, Hey mommy, I want to show you something. And then <laughs> I, sh- I would bring her into my room and my room would be spotless. Like you could <laughs> lick off the floor and she'd be like, looks really nice, babe. And she would walk out and I was like, and I would just feel horrible. The entire time I was grounded, I would feel horrible. I felt like being grounded was just a notch in the timeline of my parents' like view of me changing. Yeah. <laughs> and I hated that. Just I don't think I ever got grounded. You had to have been grounded. I wasn't grounded. We were punished for like in the meantime. I don't think Heath, so. When I mean, you, when you I ask to go grounded. out and they say no... And like they continue to say no, like that's that was like, just my grounded. mom. I wasn't just I just wasn't allowed to go out in general right. for no for just because. And I never was, really asked to go out because I knew the answer yes, was going to be no yes. anyway. Do you remember like like pissing them off at one moment? Like say it was like a Tuesday and you knew the weekend there was like a football game. You, it would oh, be like you, Tuesday you'd piss them off. You'd be like, well, there goes my football. Like I'm not oh. even going to ask. Can't even ask. No yeah. way. Yep. Because they remember that shit. <sighs> yeah. I think me. it'd just be like watching TV with them. You get to watch TV. That's your. You that's had your... a TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys like hang out in your rooms? I, mean, I yeah, I was. I sure. only went to my room when it was time for bed. I think it's different because like there's a lo- I have a lot of siblings, so like it was like we, let's go to the boys' room, like let's let's go play in the boys' room, let's go play in the girls' room. But then also the basement would be the big hangout or our bedrooms. My mom would kill us if we were in the kitchen. That's why I'm so jealous of like your whole like childhood because oh. those no those <laughs> moments. We only had that when our cousins came over. When our cousins came oh. over, we'd, we'd hang out in each other's room. That's rooms. Yeah. We'd, a good feeling. We'd sleep in the same room. We'd like talk. We'd like laugh. It would yeah. be like a, a fun time. And we would get that once every few months. Like but holidays. you got that every night. When my siblings and I would fight, we would write like notes to each other and like slide them under each other's doors, like apologizing. And Ooh, like there face, was. No, nah, face your problems. <laughs> <laughs> I thought but... that only happened in movies. I didn't think like, people actually <laughs> fucking did that. Like this with the novel. this one to my sister dear francis i'm sorry i was mean to you do you forgive me it's just hard to deal with you (laughs) love mariah enjoy it it's weird because i'm so much younger than everyone else in my family like my sister is the next youngest out of all my cousins and everything and she's 10 years older than me so i oh pretty much grew up like in my home as a only child 
but I had two sisters. They were just like far older than I me. I thought you and Shane were far apart. Yeah, we're seven years. Wow. Oh, really? You are? Uh-huh. I, I don't know how far apart you are. Yeah, my sister, ten one years. one is 10 years older than me and one is 13 years older than me. So I didn't grow wow. up with them. That's why I That's saw insane. them going through these other phases that I never went through with beepers and, you know, like boys and like things like that. Like yeah. I would just remember things from them growing up. But... I didn't have anyone growing up around me when I was oh. growing up. Yeah, and the age gap that you, I feel like you're at with your sisters, I feel like you couldn't really connect or hang out or anything because you're always too young yeah, and they were I mean, too we old. Wouldn't, yeah, it was honestly more of a, it was one of those things when you're a kid and you just like look up to people that are older than you. It was just one of those things yeah. that I was just like, oh my God, they're my older sisters. I always thought they were so cool. I still think they're so cool. Yeah. And I love my relationship with them nowadays because it's like, they always did look out for me and I feel like in a weird way they knew the downfalls of like my parents parenting with them and they were unspokenly determined to be like we're gonna help this kid out oh, like cool. I always felt like that like they I were just yeah. looking out having your back yeah aside from when they would turn off my Fisher Price cassette player when <gasps> I would play Shania Twain but fuck yeah. <laughs> I still hold I it would against them. Kill a bit. <laughs> yeah, but they were. Yeah, no, it was cool. Like growing up, because I kind of grew up as an only child, but I did have older siblings that I could sort of, you know, we would we would you know meet up and talk about yeah. stuff and. So interesting. I mean, seven years apart is big too. Yeah, I think he went to college um, when I was going into middle school. So like wow. middle and high, I was just by myself. Did I tell you about the time my mom? I mean, I, I'm, I am not trying to make my mom look bad, but she left me at the bank once. So we we all went to the bank and we got out of the car, went into the bank. She, her and my brother got into the car and just left. And I was like, "Mommy, I hit the door," and they just kept going. Oh no, my, oh my mom left God. us everywhere. And and they were, they were gone. It felt like when I was a kid, it felt like. 30 minutes it was it, i was sitting there and it was i was in fear of my life i thought i was gonna like i was fucked i was never gonna see That's him again funny and i remember obviously they came back and my mom was like oh my god blah, blah. but like i re my i remember my brother my mom telling me the story of what was happening inside the car <laughs> when i was there and my brother so my brother's sitting there like playing blah 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 just like and my mom is talking to the both of us and my brother's responding <laughs> and not letting her know that i'm oh not in the car gosh. and all of a sudden my mom goes where the hell is it? <laughs> I picture you in the bank. <laughs> and no, it's just, I think it's hilarious. My brother didn't even think to say to anything. say anything. Isn't he just so thought it was funny. normal. This is the brother that was two years older than you. Yes, yes. Oh, he, he was doing it on purpose. He was yes. like, "That's <laughs> so funny." My mom though. would leave us everywhere. Like, I, like I said, it, they're not bad parents. It happens. My mom would leave us everywhere. Like the one time, <laughs> uh, how many kids total uh, did like are you guys when you four. guys? Four. My mom had my sister in like the car, the car seat or whatever. She went to go pick me up from preschool. She gets in the car. She picks me up. She gets a call from the preschool. Um, we have Francis here. My mom oh my. like set her down under the table <laughs> and left with me. She left with me and not Frank. I, <laughs> and she was like, "Ah, oh, shit, not again." My mom goes, "Not again." The whole fucking you talking about the, like the, the uh, yeah the car seat with the handle. That's the funniest like image of someone get... leaving their baby like just. <laughs> They were just like, like, like up on the roof, like just <laughs> of the car, just like, <laughs> seat belt. do you think that's happened? Oh, 100%. 100 it has to have totally. happened. <laughs> oh my God. That's oh awful. God. Hey, stop that car. Like, it's just... Somebody stop that baby. <laughs> That is just looking so up. He thinks it's like crazy. a mobile. <laughs> He's that's the sun terrible. Saying I found a TikTok of your child. My remember, kid? The, remember the one I showed oh, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can well, I show you really yeah. quick? It's a baby going, I freaking love you. The baby looks just like you. I freaking love you. What? I freaking love you. I freaking love you too. I love him. Not love you. I love Doha. She could literally be your kid. Yeah. Oh, that's why she's so cute. I freaking love you. I freaking love you. I freaking love bats. Ooh, okay, we were going on and on for a minute there. Yeah, we had there was a there was a list of things we wanted to go over today, but we went so <laughs> off track. <laughs> we are, right? I like when we go off track. I like talking about like, like just random shit like that. When we have episodes like this, like there's never been one exactly like this. Yeah. But it just felt like we were just hanging out like we normally do in the kitchen, just yeah. having a conversation. So I don't yeah. know if that was like 
It was very all over the place, but that's literally what yeah. our friendship is. I forgot where we were. Yeah, I and was. Ho- I didn't realize. I didn't realize how off track. I just felt like we were just is, talking. This is how we. There always was talk no normally. structure. Yeah. And that's. And I, I feel like that's our. Like every time we talk before the podcast, we talk about how we w- want the conversation on the podcast to be authentic, authentic, yeah. and what what they're like actually when we're. Yeah in the living room talking and this podcast is pretty much exactly how it goes when we're, <laughs> this when is we're it. having a conversation but that's how we it. understand each other yeah. yeah like zane you barely stuttered it, you, you did were in i didn't good. stutter once. we were I in our element once. that's how we like talk to each other though yeah. it's just like one one big happy balance <laughs> we had a bunch of like topics and stuff we wanted to go over so yeah maybe we'll save it for the next episode yeah. but um, yeah, uh, if you guys want to comment below and let us know what you thought about this episode, that would be great. That's how these episodes are going to be, though. Either they're going to be hectic or super structured with like different segments and stuff. That's just how it is. Yeah, right. Because there is timely stuff that is going on right now that we wanted to cover. Um, but exactly. we, we kind of we the train went off the track for a little That's bit. All right. You know what, baby? You get what you get and you can't Don't get, get upset. upset. <laughs> Leave us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you again for tuning in to Zane and Heath Unfilter. We love you so much. Um, we post every Monday on uh, Spotify and Apple Podcasts and all that good stuff. And on Tuesdays, we post a video portion of the podcast on mm-hmm. YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath. Oh, a uh, quick little update. We got all of our gaming computers and stuff like that. Oh, my God. We're um, so excited. We're going to build it uh, on so Tuesday. There's so. a couple more things we're waiting for that are supposed to be coming in soon, but we're going to set up the set. And it's going to be really cool, and we're excited for that. Oh, Zane, why don't you come on down and show us what you got? Uh, for the listeners, Zane is holding our merch, the Juice the Funny Unfiltered sweatshirts we got them in pink and black still um you guys can always get those and they are going to be in the description below so make sure to check that out yeah anything else you want to finish off with i know this is a kind of a sensitive to- uh topic but in the le- in the in our description below we'll leave links to donate to beirut they had a large explosion it was very scary and they definitely need all our help right now mm-hmm. so um, i'll leave all the appropriate all the links that i i think they're reliable in right. the description below any literally anything will help they really need it right now hundreds of homes have been destroyed and right if you can help every dollar counts um i'll leave, we'll leave in just right and if you guys can't don't feel bad or anything like that um but if you can that'd be great yeah and also uh, in this podcast uh, we're going to talk about how i was uh how i grew up in lebanon and beirut was a city we went to all the time and but we'll save it for the next podcast since we went off track with this <laughs> one but um yeah we'll, we'll do that for the next podcast so that's exciting and that's it baby guys thank you for tuning in again for Z- to zane and heath unfiltered and we will see you guys next week bye. we love you guys bye <laughs>